Hey guys, it's your internet bestie, Noelle Blue, and this is an episode of In Real Life, where I take apart a part of one of our books and drop it right there in real life for you to see how that would really look. So this uh, month's book, we were talking about the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and I wondered, are there any real celebrities who've been married that, that many times? There were. So. In real life, we're going to talk about the seven husbands of Elizabeth Taylor. So, just like our title character, Evelyn Hugo, Starlet Elizabeth Taylor was actually married a total number of eight times. Twice to the same guy at one point. So, this episode of In Real Life is all about the seven husbands of Elizabeth Taylor. So, husband number one was actually hotel magnet Conrad Nicky Hilton. You may have heard of him from the Hilton Hotel chains. That guy. Yeah, she got married to him at 18. He was about 24 and the marriage didn't last too long, much like Evelyn's first marriage to Ernie Diaz. But the marriage between Conrad and Elizabeth actually fizzled out much like the marriage between Evelyn and Don Adler. Hilton was a socialite a big name very well known their wedding itself was actually organized by the uh people at mgm studios and unfortunately due to conrad's drinking and abusive nature uh, Elizabeth filed for a divorce about eight months in. Husband number two was actually British actor Michael Wilding. The two got married about a year after Elizabeth's divorce from Conrad Hilton. Um, and they were married for about five years in total, had two kids. He was actually about 20 years older than she was. Um, and unfortunately, the marriage didn't last long. After about five years of marriage, um, he had some infidelity issues and she filed for a divorce. So if it's one thing about Elizabeth Taylor, she was not going to stay single long. So shortly after her divorce from Michael Wilding, she actually ended up marrying a man named Michael Todd. They got married while she was actually carrying their daughter, Elizabeth. <laughs> so um, unfortunately, a year into the marriage, Michael Todd died in a terrible plane crash. And it's said that uh, Elizabeth was half crazed with grief. Um, not so grief stricken that she remained single. She actually shortly after that married Eddie Fisher, her husband's best friend. That happened. Remember the part in Seven Husbands where Evelyn Hugo marries the rock star, Mick Riva? Yeah, this had nothing to do with any of that. She just, uh, Elizabeth Taylor just also happened to marry a musician. His name was Eddie Fisher. He was actually married to Debbie Reynolds around the same time that he and Liz started hooking up. Oh yeah, and he was best friends with her late husband, Michael Todd, the one who died in the plane crash. Paparazzi actually thinks that the two may have started their affair during that time period where um, Elizabeth was, was grieving, but we don't really know. Um, sources also say that uh, once Liz and Eddie decided they wanted to be together, that they guilted Debbie Reynolds into signing the divorce papers. Eddie and Elizabeth were actually married for about five years before, listen, Elizabeth Taylor going to do what she wouldn't do. So they were married for about five years prior to Elizabeth hooking up with Richard Burton, who was her co-star on Cleopatra. And shortly after that, her and Eddie got divorced. Husband number five was actually called the love of Elizabeth Taylor's life. That's right, Elizabeth Taylor married Richard Burton for her fifth marriage. And those two actually stayed married for 10 whole years. They started their affair while they were both filming Cleopatra. During their marriage, they'd actually filmed several movies together. Um, the paparazzi followed them heavily. They were everywhere. They were in love. It was a decade of love. And then they got divorced in 1974. We're not really sure why specifically, but they immediately tried working it out again. They got married in 1975. That time didn't work out, saw it coming. Uh, due to Elizabeth Taylor's alcoholism and Richard Burton's infidelity, the two got divorced a second time in 1976. Husband number six for Elizabeth Taylor really seemed like she was just trying to do something different. So having dated actors and actors and producers and actors and musicians, she finally decided to go for a politician, just like Evelyn Hugo. So this time around, Elizabeth Taylor marries John Warner, 
uh, who was a politician here, and they were married for a good six years. Now, lots of things were happening during that time. Uh, Elizabeth Taylor's uh, battle with alcoholism and substance abuse got worse. She actually got bored with being in DC and probably got bored with not having all the attention on her. Being the wife of a politician is not said to be fun. So they were together for six years, but after, you know, her sobriety failed, they ended up getting divorced around 1982 or so. All right, lucky number seven. Um, Elizabeth Taylor's last and final husband was actually not a famous person at all. Um, I honestly wouldn't have even known who he was if I wasn't specifically Googling him. Um, her last husband was a man by the name of Larry Fortensky. They were married from 1991 to 1996, so a total of five years. And uh, he was just a construction worker. They met in rehab. <laughs> that happened. Um, so Elizabeth Taylor and Larry met in rehab, probably while she was trying to get her substance and drinking under control. I don't know what he was in there for, but the two did get married at Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch House. Um, she was able to sell her final wedding pictures to a tabloid magazine for over a million dollars. And like I said, they got married, stayed married for about five years, got divorced in 1996, but kept in touch right up until she died in 2011. Elizabeth Taylor actually left him about $825,000 from her estate when she died. So uh, even though he'd gotten quite a bit of money in the settlement from their divorce. Hmm. All right, guys, so that was the seven husbands of Elizabeth Taylor. Kind of sounds very familiar, eerily similar to the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. She married uh, an actor and married some more actors and married a couple of producers, married herself a musician, got involved with a politician, and then divorced every single last one of them and died single. I think she had the right plan. Maybe Evelyn and Liz know a secret. Maybe they share a secret. I don't know. Anyway, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This was a quick episode of In Real Life. If you learned something new, leave a comment below. If you know some information that I might have left out, leave a comment below. Bye.